Austin Rounds, hello to you. Hello. Joe Rounds, hello to you. Hi. Wonderful, wonderful art we have on behalf of Austin, but I'm gonna have your dad talk about you first. Brag on Austin. <laughs> what's, what's he all about? It, yeah, it's it's easy to brag about him because yeah. he's, he's such a wonderful kid. And aside from from that, just uh, being a fantastic artist, um, and he, he got started when he was very young. And he started sketching when he was about three, four years old, and I don't think he ever put a pencil or a pen down. He was constantly carrying it around with him. We went through probably thousands of notepads and art pads and you know he's kind of transitioned between different forms you know sometimes he's got in painting a little bit he really s stuck with sketching and drawing and this was his first attempt at digital art yeah the, the, the scarecrow one over there was like the mm -hmm. first one i did so in general Austin, is this digital work? Are you a digital artist? I like to consider myself as both, like, I guess, traditional and digital. Tradigital. <laughs> okay, so so the thing is, it I start it starts off with like a hand drawn sketch on a piece of paper, and then from there I would I would kind of outline it with like a I guess sort of like a fine ink pen or something just. I guess one of the kinds you can find at like Michael's. I would go from there to take a photo of it with my iPad or phone and and I and using my iPad and a stylus too. I'm I am able to I guess put on this one sort of digital sketch app and give it all the colors, the materials. One of the things about his piece, uh, or all his pieces, they're all 100% original. And some of these, I, I don't want to say they're, they're dark, but there's a spooky house, there's kind of a spooky scarecrow. Um, is there a, is that part of your theme? Yeah, it is kind of part of my theme. I mean, growing up, I was always fascinated by everything that was had sort of a creepy, dark, whimsical. I'm kind of inspired by people like Tim Burton and some other cartoon shows I grew up watching. So in Austin, he, he can work in a variety of styles. So the book that he's working on right now just happens to be a Halloween-based series of uh, short stories. And so that's what... It's the uh, tip of the iceberg. So that's what this project is. So it's, it's more Halloween-themed. It's a little bit darker, but... He's also, uh, once he finishes up this project, going to start working on a poetry book. So it'll be more whimsical, a little more lighthearted, but um, he's able to really transition between uh, a lot of different uh, styles. And as a parent, you coach this. You, you pushed Austin to do what he does well. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Austin was diagnosed with autism when he was in the first grade, and so it there was a, a lot of challenges that that Austin and and me and us as a family had to had to work through and 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 make life comfortable for him and um, give him the support and the advocacy that he needed in school and at home and in in public and you know that being said it, it's not it's not a ploy for sympathy Austin is um, is for the most part fairly independent he still yeah. lives at home with us but you know pretty much anything else he needs to do day to day he he takes care of himself but the the challenges that autism kind of presented with him or presented to him it also uh, opened up this reservoir of creativity and uh, just a a different way of looking at the world and a, and a, and a different way of expressing himself and, and, and a different way of thinking I guess yeah mm -hmm. does this make you proud Joe yeah absolutely um, the art well, everything, buddy. Everything that you've been through and everything you've kind of accomplished, you know, um, the uh, the art hop really gave us um, a great platform. The book is nice. It's a vehicle for Austin to kind of express himself. So the author will send us a snippet of a story that he hasn't even written yet. He'll just say, this is about a scary scarecrow, for instance, that guy. And then Austin will develop this story and come up with an idea. So the book was a nice vehicle for Austin to start working on something directly out of high school that would keep him productive and happy. And, um, and, and the Art Hop gave us a platform to show off his work. Austin, is this your favorite piece? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it is. Why? 
There are like, I guess, a lot of things that make it more personal. The difference between this and the rest of them, the, this is the one piece that's not in the book. This is not an illustration. I see an owl in here. Oh yeah, I, I could walk you through if you want. Yes, please. Okay, so um, I guess, imagine if you were all alone in the woods and you see, I guess, this one sort of abandoned building or church or whatever it is, and you see a little bit of light inside. And so when you do step in, the thing is, you also have your camera on you, or phone, or whatever. Yes, but, yes, but, we know you would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so you would go in, but then you see there's all these strange sort of creatures and all these monsters and madmen, and you go leave all of a sudden, you trip on something, and it's a loud noise, and it's like get up and dust yourself off. You look, and it's like they're all staring at you, <laughs> like they notice you. What inspires you? What inspires me to make, I guess, this sort of art it originally derives from all my, I guess, pent up anger and aggression when I was in my high school days because back in those days I was just really unhappy. When Austin was diagnosed in the first grade, like I said, with autism, it was a, it was a struggle for him. So there was a lot of years where it was, it was a lot of growing pains. It was trying to find the right medications, it was trying to find the right therapies, trying to get the right support. You know, a period of time, in high school, and he was having a lot of difficulties, um, and was, and was so art the art was then? part of mm -hmm. the you know wonderful expressing himself. Um, if there was moments where he was angry about a situation or he was frustrated with something, uh, he would go to his room and start sketching uh, these characters out. You keep making art. Thank you. Thank I you. will. Thank you, Austin, Joe. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.